I believe a woman on a DNA level is a woman. A man is a man on a DNA level. Um, homosexuality is not right. Being honest with you. But I will not allow myself to dehumanize and demonize people just because they have a different opinion than myself. Hey, thank you for watching Power to the Power. We're committed to an intellectual integrity and a moral honesty. I'm your host, Superior. And once again, thank you for watching. Now, in this video, I want to make this clear, okay? If it's anybody, anybody on this earth, okay, on this earth, <laughs> that I wish I could just give one quick elbow to the throat, it would be uh, 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 Michael Knowles that his neck just looks so good with my elbow to it like now okay i know that could be a little harsh but i i'm not here to make friends okay i'm not here to to say words to tickle people's ears i don't care about uh subscribers i don't care about none of that if you don't like me good i don't need to be talking to you anyway i just don't i despise people from the bottom of my heart with every fiber of my being, I despise evil opportunists who will say anything, anything just for some money. They don't care how far they go. They don't care what possible uh, crimes they're going to be feeding to people. They don't care about none of this. All they care is their position and their money. I mean, that's what an opportunist is. Like, Jesus Christ. Michael Knowles has to be one of the most snottiest, <laughs> dishonest, disingenuous, all the is in the, in, in the vocabulary has to be Michael Knowles. Let's go ahead and take a listen and let's have this conversation. Conservative political action conference speaker and Daily Wire host Michael Knowles called for the eradication of transgenderism at the conference on Saturday. <clears throat> there can be no middle way in dealing with transgenderism. It is all or nothing. If transgenderism is true, if men really can become women, then it's true for everybody of all ages. If transgenderism is false, as it is, if men really can't become women, as they cannot, then it's false for everybody, too. And if it's false, then we should not indulge it. If it's false. <laughs> Especially since that indulgence requires taking away the rights and customs of so many people. If it is false, then for the good of society, and especially for the good of the poor people who have fallen prey to this confusion, oh, no. transgenderism must be eradicated from public life entirely. The wow. whole preposterous ideology. At I hope we get a good look at these people right here. All these people are evil. <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to say, it, okay, all these people right here are a bunch of idiots. To, to the purest definition of idiots. Like, there's, there's, no level. <clears throat> now, Rolling Stone's headline about the event claimed that Knowles had called for, quote, transgender people to be eradicated. And Knowles called that headline libelous and demanded a retraction, which Rolling Stone complied with. And their new headline then read, CPAC speaker calls for eradication of transgenderism and somehow claims he's not calling for elimination of transgender people. <laughs> so per Knowles, eradicating, quote, transgenderism is not a call for eradicating, quote, transgender people. Hmm. All right, before old boy kind of kind of gets into it. <clears throat> if 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 you were hearing that for the first time, okay, uh, you know, this this trans ideolo ideology is is somehow creeping up on people like the boogeyman, okay? It's it's brainwashing men into thinking they're women, it's brainwashing women thinking they're men. And it's even gotten to the point to where our kids are confused. Like, 
you would think that this is like one of like a scary movie where like you know uh uh you know a zombie movie where one person gets infected and you know just a scratch affects that person and then two zombies turns into four then four turns into eight to six thirty like it eventually you know like like in the movies it just takes like three days to spread across the world that's how they're making this scene okay they're holding these big old conferences uh matt wash has all these these shows and 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 they're they're making it seem like this is just bigger than covid let me tell you this trans people only make up less than 20 no 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 less than 10 percent no trans people only make up less than one percent of americans and do you know how many americans google this go ahead pause this video and google it okay pause it right there okay <laughs> there is 331 ish millions of people in america and we are concentrating our time our energy, our focus, our, our, our precious time and breath here on earth, because we're not promised tomorrow. We want to spend our time on people that make up less than 1% of Americans. <clears throat> Nothing else matters. We can have this conversation. We can go back and forth and blah, blah, blah. But just thinking about the scale of this, we're focusing our energy, our energy on less than 1% of Americans. We have millions of kids dying due to uh, lack of food. Education is a, is a big issue. Uh, poor jobs, giving uh, uh, poor wages, health care, violence in general. And, but we're focused on a group of people that make up less than 1%. It blows my mind how stupid people can get tied in into a, a conversation that just engulfs them. People will, would, would die on this hill and have no idea that they're targeting less than 1% of Americans. It's like, if you're going hard on this, I better see you <laughs> screaming at the top of your lungs with actual things that <laughs> that we should be concerned about. But they don't. I mean, here, okay, spoiler, they're not. Republicans, most Republicans don't care about that. All they want to do is fear monger people into thinking you know, like, like with the whole zombie, uh, 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 example, that's how they're making trans people like a trans person walks in front of your, your son, you go, by the time you get home, you're going to have a zombie on your hand. You're going to have a trans kid on your hand that quick. That's how they're making it seem. Come on. I don't know. I don't know. I, I think it's, uh... I'm, I'm honestly wasting time of my life, even continuing this but i mean it's only an eight minute video so i, I a really guess. great example of the media totally screwing <clears> up <throat> what should have been like slam dunk criticism of michael knowles i don't agree with what he's saying there at all um i don't particularly like the very eliminationist rhetoric he's he's suggesting there i think it is totally fine to criticize him for it i think the vast majority of Americans, even including some who have issues with uh, <clears throat> what things the, some members of the transgender activist community want, probably don't agree with what Michael Knowles is saying there. However, because uh, Rolling Stone, which I think unfortunately has become an increasingly careless publication, uh, f uh, wrote that headline, they opened <coughs> themselves up to ab correct criticism that they were misquoting him. Now, uh, does it raise to the, does it rise to the issue of libel? Is it libelous? I, I doubt that. I, I would have to see what a court would say. I don't think it's libelous. It is definitely wrong, and they were right to correct it. And then correcting it and still making fun of him in the headline is like, I think they, I think they really, I think it was an own goal. You, you can't tell me that face 
looks like like you want to abuse it. <laughs> like I I mean, once again, I don't want to promote violence, but whew, man, <laughs> yeah, this yeah, I don't I don't well, know. Is what I'll say. <clears throat> Yeah, it's interesting. So the question comes down to, does the call for eradicating transgenderism in effect, is that the same mm-hmm. as calling for Come eradicating on, to transgender up. people? And is there enough of a distinction there for him, for Knowles, to take umbrage at being misquoted that way? I mean, obviously it was a misquote if it was put in quotes, right? Because he didn't say those words. But, um, you know, we have a, <clears throat> actually we have a quote here from Aaron Reed, a transgender rights activist and writer who told Rolling Stone that the distinction is she called it absurd. There is no difference between a ban on, quote, transgenderism and an attack on transgender people, she said. She added, quote, they are one and the same and there's no separation between them. Um, you know, I, I so it's right. That's all right. OK, boom. Enough talking. <clears throat> like 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 I told you it it just feels like it's a waste of my time pursuing and going down this pointless rabbit hole with these people because if if we're going to have these these big grandiose discussions you know we're going to uh, uh invest money into something can we talk about the bigger issues that we're all facing as Americans, I guarantee if you're watching this, you're probably going to do, do the same economical uh, 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 lack of care that everybody goes through. You know what I'm saying? High gas prices, food, inflation, all this, this, this craziness. But we want to talk about less than 1%. Now, <clears throat> when it comes to Michael Knowles saying... Um, Calls for the eradication of trans transgenderism. Uh, okay, that is clever words. That and, and this is what uh, the Republicans are f- phenomenal of doing. They can take a word and flip that and make it catchy. You know what I'm saying? They're good at framing things to where you know they're not inciting for violence. But they kind of are, you know, kind of like that meme where, you know, tell me you're a Raiders fan without telling me you're a Raiders fan. Like they're good at those sort of meme type uh, 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 conversations. You cannot <clears throat> eradicate a thinking. You can't eradicate a ideology, a belief, a, a feeling. You can't eradicate that without somehow dealing with the person you can't do that <laughs> why and i guarantee you it's going to be the one person i'm i'm going to try to refrain from giving my time and energy to these people because i i know they're coming all these uh, uh michael Knowles fans they they love these kind of videos and all they're going to uh, all they're going to say is you're wrong and uh Michael knows is right and uh that's it like bro you're an idiot okay I'm just going to save myself from uh uh, uh s- typing this out and I'm just going to tell you right here timestamp this timestamp this this moment right here you're an idiot you're an idiot and you're probably the biggest idiot there you go <clears throat> Anyone that that supports this 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 sort of rhetoric um, is evil. I'm a God fearing man myself. If you ask me for my opinion when it comes to uh, 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 being gay or being trans, I do not believe in that. I believe a woman on a DNA level is a woman. A man is a man on a DNA level. Um, homosexuality is not right. Being honest with you. But I will not allow myself to dehumanize and demonize people just because they have a different opinion than myself. Can't do it. I won't. I can't go to sleep at night taking advantage of my position or my my you know my my thoughts my ideas and twist that to attack people that's not what that's about 
you we want to have that conversation i'm going to be honest with you but i'm still going to love you i hate the sin that you're doing but i'm still going to treat the person with respect that simple why can't it why why is that so difficult for people to understand because they're idiots that's 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 the bottom line okay they're idiots and you can't get through idiots no no matter how much you try to talk to them because they love they love to dwell in their ignorance it's, it's like a it's like a drug to be an idiot is like a drug to them and they just can't get off the 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 idiot drug they can't they're 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 not able to okay so but once again am i wrong <laughs> maybe i'm i'm living in a in a fantasy land where you know people can actually try to solve real issues and not these made up boogeyman just for political gain because that's all they're doing so once again if i'm wrong let me know down in the comments and, and, and let's have that conversation <laughs> Thank you for listening and don't forget to join the conversation by subscribing. Make sure to tune in next time and like always, power to you, power to me, power to the people, power to the pod.